everyone welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my craft room then welcome today I am working on these three really quick and easy baby shower ideas here um, I've had a lot of people lately asking me about different ideas for you know like centerpieces or um, ones for a candy dish and different things and I love making things for baby showers so I thought this would be something fun to do um, my camera's acting stupid here uh, I had to restart it again, so if it starts jumping a little bit, I apologize. But um, the first thing I'm going to do here is the candy dish. It's really simple. All you need is some of these little bowls from Dollar Tree. I have my little things cut out already that I'm going to use. Um, these come in a pack of four. Um, that's what these little bowls are. Oops. Come on, focus. There we go. Um, yeah, you get four of these in a pack. This one's got a sticker on it. I'll get this off of here. I already used my other ones, but you're going to need one of those and one of these little wine glasses that they have in the party section. They come in a pack of six, and these little things are all, um, they disconnect, so we're going to use two of these for one. Um, you could use a little plate to put under it for the bottom of it if you wanted to, or but I'm just going to use, whoops, actually I'm going to throw it on the floor. I'm going to use one of these little things for the bottom of this too where we're going to put in our little decorations and then I have a bunch of these little things that I got they have so many cute little things and these and these little baby rattles and you can do this for a boy or a girl I already made one for a boy I'll show you that one in a second um, but I'm going to use these little rattles and I'm going to use a cup of like three of these little baby bottles that they have at Dollar Tree and they have these cute little teddy bears on a stick and they have these little blocks I only have a couple in here because I've used most of them already, but you get 12 of these little blocks in here. And then all I'm going to do for those guys because to use these is I'm going to cut off the little stick. Just take a pair of wire cutters and they come right off because I don't want the little stick on there. We're going to use those. And then for the little blocks, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to cut off this little, whoops, there it goes, the little um, hook on there so you just have the block. So I've already cut all those out and got those ready for this one. And then I'm going to use these little um, bead jewels. They're called jewels, but they're like little pearls. These are pink. They also have them in this pretty blue that I used for the one for the boy. And these are older ones. This is from Jot. This is the newer packaging with the Crafter Square. So we're going to use those. And that's pretty much it for this. You just need a little bit of hot glue. So the first thing I'm going to do is take these stickers here. Here, let me show you what I did with it here. This is what it comes out to look like when we're all done. It has the little bears in there. This is the one I did for the boy. I didn't have any candy, so I just stuck some little vase fillers in there to make it look cute. And it's just so simple to make, and I think they are just the cutest. So let me set that one over here. So on this bowl, it's a 5-inch bowl that measures across the top. I'm just going to take a strip of your little pearls and I'm not going to do all this on camera I'll do some of it off because I've got these three projects and I want to not make this super super long so these you're just going to kind of they bend nice you could put it all around the scalloped edge here and you're just going to go all the way around with it like that and then on the bottom of the glass we're going to do the same thing well actually it's the top of the glass but we're going to have it upside down so it's actually the bottom I'm just going to go right on the, there's like a little, you'll see it's a little ridge there. You just want to go right underneath that little ridge, all the way around. And you'll need like, I think like two and a half of these strips to go around here. But, and then just push them down real good. These guys stick pretty good. But I put that there, and then I also, I'm going to put a strip right here, right on the top of the, well, it's actually underneath, but you know what I mean, right here. Stick those in there, and they just break right apart. And then where these things, where the little uh, stand goes on together, I'm just going to put this right over that little, make sure it's on there tight, little opening there of where that was. And that should fit perfectly right there. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting these on the bottom and finish putting around the top and then we'll put in our little decorations. Okay, there I got these all on there. So cute, so cute. 
All right, now I'm going to take this little bottom piece here and we're going to glue on these little blocks. Now you're just going to want to keep them in enough so when you, you can set this down on here, you don't want it too, too close to the edge. And um, yeah, they just fit really nice. So you'll see if you want to do this, it'll fit real nice. I just put a little glue on the bottom and on the tippy top. And then I'm just going to set it right here. I think that's how I had them on the other one. Is that how I had them? Nope, not at all. I had them like down like this way. All right. I kind of want to make these match. All right, so it just goes up on the little lip there. Just so you have enough so your glass will go over it. And you can always check before it gets good and dry. So that's good right there. So we're going to glue one there. Um, and I already cut off all the little tops and things for this. And then one will go right here. I think that's good. Hopefully I got these in the right spot. We're going to put three of these on. And I want this to sit like that. Okay. Just like so. All right, I think that's good. And now in between each one of these, I'm just going to take one of these little baby bottles, put a little bit of glue down here on the bottom, and just stand these little guys up here like that. And I'll put a little tiny bit of glue on the block to hold it up straight. And I'll pull off all these glue webs when I'm done. Look how cute the little baby bottles. Holy webs already. Here I go with the webs. <laughs> All right, let me put, well, it doesn't matter because the pink one's going to be there. I should have put the yellow one over here. And you're going to just put one here. I'm going to put just a dab on the side here. There. But you kind of want to try to make those stand up nice and straight. Here we go. All right, so while they cool, and I can get all those webs off there before I glue it together. Now these little rattles, just by chance, just happen to fit right up in this little thing. So we're just going to glue that up in there, but I thought it was just a little plain, so I decided I'm going to put a little teddy bear on there. So, I, you know, I cut that little stick off of him. We're just going to glue him right onto this rattle, and I think that looks adorable. You can use any color you want. What did I put? I put a white one on the blue rattle. Um, and then all you need is just to put a couple little dots of hot glue on each side of this thing here. You don't want too much, and it will stay up in there because it just fits just right. So, and I'm just going to hold that little guy there for a second. See how it fits right up in there nice? Well, that glue dries, or cools, rather. And that's how that will look. Isn't it cute? Alright, hopefully my glue is cool enough here. So I can let go. Don't fall out. Alright, let me get some of these little webs off of here. And that is pretty much it. All you have to do now is just put a little bit of glue. You don't need a lot because, you know, this plastic is thin and it will kind of stick together really well with just a few dots of glue here and there. So you really don't need a lot. So I'm just going to put like a dot here. I don't know if I can hold my hand still. Maybe a dot here, here, and here. And that is it. And then we're just going to sit this little baby. And I kind of like to make sure like there's a little... Um, I did it the wrong way. Well, this one I did in between the baby bottles. This one I did in front of the baby bottles. It really doesn't make any difference, however you like it. But yeah, I glued that down too quick. And it sticks really fast, the plastic to the plastic. So that is your little base there. And that's so darn cute. All right, and then all you got to do up here is just add a few 
put a few thick drops of glue in here so it comes up over the top and then just let me look eyeball this here and then just stick your little top on top of there and that's it that is just as easy peasy these are they are so stinking cute and then let me grab my little um, base fillers here so this one looks full like one of these on each table. I mean, they're very inexpensive to make. So, I thought these were a great little idea for candy dishes for a baby shower. Come back here. But there, that is it. That is the ones for the little boy and for the little girl. So, all right. So, now let me clean this stuff off here, and we're just going to do a really quick and easy gift basket. And I'll be right back. All right. For this DIY, is so simple. This is just basic little gift basket. It's very inexpensive and it's going to be really cute. You could use it just as a gift. You could use it to put on the table and it would be adorable. But they have these really pretty baskets at Dollar Tree. You can get these in pink. They have them in white if you're lucky enough to find them. If not, you can use any other one. They have a lot of really pretty baskets you can find at Dollar Tree. They even have some of the wicker looking baskets. Um, most of this stuff came from Dollar Tree. I think the only thing that did not come from Dollar Tree is the diapers and I actually picked up a pack of these 31 newborn because I wanted ones that were white it's really hard to find a, just a white diaper without a really you know cute little print all over it but I did pick up these come 31 in here newborn size so we're going to use that for this project and for the next project so they go a long way you can do both of these projects with a one pack of the diapers so you want to grab a piece of tissue paper I have a piece of light blue I think that would look pretty in here. And you just want to line this just so you know you don't see everything through the basket on the outside. Trying to get in here kind of even. Alright. And then I just picked up a bunch of things from Dollar Tree. I got some baby shampoo, um, some baby wash, a little baby oil, these little pack of the um, Fisher Price wipes from Dollar Tree. And I have this little washcloth I want to use. Now this is really cute. It has a little teddy bear on here, a little panda bear. It doesn't really go with the whole thing that I'm doing here. So I'm just going to tuck this little washcloth in here. And then the rest of it, we're going to fill this part in here with the diapers. Now actually, I'm going to put an extra piece of the tissue down here because I want the diapers to be raised up just a little bit. I'm just going to stick another piece of tissue, just scrunch it up, stick it down in there. And then I just rolled up these diapers, and we're just going to stick those in here. I'm not sure how many I used. I will count them here in a second. Um, but just roll them up and tuck them in here like so. Oh, I got stuff every place here. Oh, my bird's having a fit out there. Oh, we got here four. Six. I mean, you can really stuff these in here. I guess we'll put ten in here. Maybe I think I had eleven to make it sit nice and snug. Yes, I did. All right. Yes, I did put that extra one in the corner here. Okay, so I put eleven in here. Just to keep them snug so they sit up nice and tall. So now what we're going to do, they have these little cute little rubber duckies. You can find these a lot of times. I think they come in a three-pack at Dollar Tree. They're just adorable. I love rubber duckies. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this paper shred here. And we're just going to make a little pond on top. And you could put anything in here that you wanted to. It doesn't have to be, you know, what I'm showing you here at all. But I just thought this would be fun. And then we just put our little ducks in the pond. And I think that just looks adorable. Now, if you wanted to, you could wrap this up with cellophane. Um, you know, put a nice little bow on it if you wanted to. They have these cute little bows at Dollar Tree, too. They're actually pins that you could hook on the front of here that would be cute, too. Which I think I may do that. Um, I might have to glue it on here. But I think that would be cute, too. So that's what I, actually what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put some glue on this puppy and just stick it right on here in the center. I think that looks adorable. And it just says it's a boy. 
and that's it. There you go. Quick and easy. So simple. And I think that would look real cute. You could use these just as little decorations on the table. And then you got all your goodies in here. You could stick in pacifiers, bottles, whatever you wanted to. And then just add your little duckies. But that's it for that one. So let me clean this off here and then we'll get to the last one. All right. For this one, we're going to make a little diaper bouquet. And I think these are adorable. I can't take credit for this. I've seen these a million times. Um, I don't know how people made them, so I'm kind of making up my own way to make them here. But they're really adorable. I've seen them at baby showers. I've seen them online. And they're just so stinking cute. So hopefully this is going to work out because I'm going to try to do this just a little bit different. All right. We're going to take the tissue paper here. I'm just going to try this with one piece. I usually put in two, but sometimes it looks just a little too bulky. So I'm just going to kind of fold that all up like a little flower here and stick the center of it down inside the base. And hopefully I can get this to straighten out for me here. Open up. And then just, I like to take like this little spatula and just kind of tuck it in gently because you don't want to rip it. i got to sit down here so I can see what I'm doing. Um, and then you can kind of open it up a little more. This is just so when you put your floral foam down in here, you're not just looking at a big hunk of floral foam laying in the bottom of your vase. I don't know why this doesn't want to open up nice for me. There we go. I get it eventually. Now this top piece, I'm going to take most of this off. I'm not going to let this hang here because it just doesn't look nice. Now what I did was I took a piece of the 3 by 4 inch square floral foams that they have at Dollar Tree and I just cut this down. So depending on what size vase that you're going to use or whatever is going to, you know, that'll kind of depend on your size of your floral foam. So you're going to want to cut that down so that'll sit down here in the bottom. And that is what we're going to attach this little ball to. Now this is the biggest size they have at Dollar Tree. If you want to use a bigger one and make a bigger bouquet, you can get, you know, bigger styrofoam balls like at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. But this was the biggest one that I seen that they had at Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to use some of these skewers. They're just the little wooden skewers. You can get these down in the kitchen aisle at Dollar Tree too. And um, I'm just going to stick, well, maybe I'll stick the hard end down in here. Stick this down inside this floral foam here just to hold our ball in place here. And then that'll stick up there, and then you're just going to take your little styrofoam ball, and there you go. And I opened up my tissue paper. Oh, there we go. I'll just twist that a little, and it's gone. All right. And that's what will hold your little ball in here so it won't come falling out. And I am going to trim most of this off after. I'm just going to leave that there for now because we're going to add a pretty little bow to this. Now you're going to take your diaper, and I'm not sure how many I used yet. I'll let you know at the end here. And a lot of people I've seen do this with tool, but we're going to try to do this a little more inexpensively because tool can be a little expensive. And we're going to use tissue paper. So you're going to take your diaper and you're going to roll it up and you're going to need some rubber bands. And if you are lucky enough to have the clear rubber bands, that is wonderful. I do not have any. I thought I had some and I wasn't running out again, but you're going to need some rubber bands and if you can find the clear ones. And this, like I said, is the whitest um, diapers I could find. So now we're going to roll that diaper up like that, and then we're going to put it in the tissue paper. And I'm just going to wrap it around enough to go, you know, like around and like a quarter. And let's wrap that in there. And then you can pre-cut all these once you get one made if you want to. Um, I just cut them off as I go. And then we're going to take down here at the bottom of this, you're going to put your rubber band to hold that all together. And yeah, like I said, definitely look for the clear rubber bands. It looks so much nicer. And then when you get them all put together, you're just going to take your tissue and actually you're going to take the center of your diaper and kind of pop that out a little bit. So it looks kind of like a rose. And then with your tissue paper, we're just going to bend these all over like so, so it looks like a pretty little flower. I could have made that up a little bit higher, but 
you just want to bend over your tops just to make it stay and don't rip it like I just did. Just like so. And that is your little rosebud. And then I take these little skewers and my wire cutters. I cut these actually in half because they're too long. Um, I just cut them off there and then you just tuck this up in the center of your diaper. It doesn't have to be on here secure because it's not going to go anywhere. Just so it just sits on it nice like that. And then we are going to just stick this right in the top. I'm going to have to raise my camera up here, I don't know. But we'll start here on the top. I always find that to be the easiest. And there is your, hang on, your first little rose. Let me raise you up here just for that. There we go. And that is your first little rose on there. And then you just roll up as many as you want to put on here. I already have a bunch of these already rolled up. Um, and you're just going to start sticking these little babies in here. And then, after we get, get in there, there we go, whoops. After we get these all in here, then I'm going to add a little bit of baby's breath to this. And I think it's just going to be adorable. I know it doesn't look like much right now because I have that tissue all hanging off the edge here. Yeah. But once we get them all fluffed up and folded over, they will be adorable. And you won't see the rubber bands. But we're just going to keep putting them in there. I'm sure the tool is probably a little bit easier to work with than the tissue because mine's getting wrinkled up here from messing with it so much, but yours will be nice and fresh. But yeah, these just look cute if you just fan the little ends out a little bit. And hopefully, I'm trying to get these ones over here that I have on the side. I'm just going to keep going around here. As many as you want to put in, you can fill this up real, real full. Like I said, I had that one pack of diapers, and I did both of these things, and I still have some left over. So I could add more of these or not. And then we're going to take the next row. And these will go down this way. Like that. And that will be adorbs when we get done here. And like I said, yours isn't going to be all wrinkly looking like mine, because I've been messing with these here figuring out exactly how I wanted to do this. I just kind of put them in between. I'll put another one over here. Let me grab these other ones here. So I have these all rolled up in a bucket. That's why they are pretty much wrinkled up. up and put our baby put some baby's breath in between here and it's gonna be so cute. But I may make this a little bit fuller down here. I have so many of these diapers left. And also this needs to go because it doesn't look good at all. You can also put some leaves, too, if you wanted to. I'm not big on the leaves and the baby thing, but I pushed my thing in too far. Oops, get back in there. I can't find the center of this one. Why thing's being difficult for me? All right, well, we'll use this one. You can just stay over there. Put that back in there. But yeah, you could add leaves to it, too, if you wanted to. Whatever you want to do. Alright, so now these I have to puff up. I'll pull the center out. Open these all up. I'm just going to do this one side here, and then I will... Um, let me cut this stuff off here because I really, really don't like this. I'll just leave it right up around the top. I don't like it hanging down. It looks very sloppy. So 
I want to add a pretty bow on here. And you could fill this in more with um, tissue too if you wanted to. Um, and we're going to start fluffing these up out. Here we are. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but we're getting there. So just kind of bend them back a little bit, like a little, a little rose petal. For some reason that one does not want to stay. And then if you want to do this for a boy, you just use glue. It's just so simple. And you can also use the tool instead of the tissue, but this is the um, most economic way that I could think of to do this. All right, so now all you need to do with your, I just pulled off a bunch of these little baby breasts from Dollar Tree. They just come on these little, little branches here. And then you could, you know, hot glue some of these like to the rubber band. You don't want to mess up the, the diapers, but you can just tuck them right down in there and they're going to stay. And I think that'll look adorable. Actually, I should have left a stem on some of these for the front. Let's see how it looks with some flat or some leaves. I don't know if I'm going to like that. Well, actually, that might be kind of cute if you want to put some green in there. But I kind of like it with just the baby's breath, honestly. But let's do a couple of these. You guys can make up your mind how you like them. And that just kind of fills in everything for your little diaper bouquets. Alright, so I'm going to cut a few more of these off and stick them in here and finish fluffing up these um, tissues. And hopefully they're not too wrinkly. This, not, this isn't going to look like a disaster. <clears throat> but like I said, I've been messing around with these here for a couple days now. Trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to do this. And... All right, so I'm going to finish putting those in there, and then after I get that on, well, actually, I could do that now before I even finish doing that. I'm just going to take two long strips. I got this tool, um, what is it called, sheer ribbon at Dollar Tree, this pretty pink, and I'm just going to double it up. I cut off two pieces of it because it's kind of thin, and I'm just trying to use what I have here. I didn't want to go out and buy any more stuff. So we're going to do with this. You could always use a wider ribbon, satin ribbon, white ribbon. Um, but I'm really going for pink, pink, pink on this one. And just tie a bow. That's it. Just a simple little, yeah, easy for me to say. Just a bow like you're tying your shoes a bow. All right, I can't get it. There we go. Just a pretty little bow on the front, like so. But yeah, it would look nicer, I think, with a little bit wider ribbon. I don't know. Or you could just layer it and make like three layers of ribbon instead of just the two. It seems to be just fine. And then if you wanted to, you could add some of those beads on the bottom. Let's see how it looks. Um, I forgot what I just did with them. Of course, I have the blue ones on it. Just chuck the pink ones here. Where'd you go? There they are. I think that's adorable. I love that. I gotta fix this one. It just wants to fall out. Isn't that just so cute? And just to make it a little more fancy schmancy, you could add a, a row of the beads around the bottom. Oh, I think that would be really pretty too. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. I actually might put two rows of those beads on there. I don't know. Just maybe one is enough. It's very, very pink. All right, so I'm going to finish putting the baby's breath in there and straighten out the other side of these, these flowers. And then I'll get a better shot of this, not so up close and not finished. So let me finish adding some more baby's breath, straighten those out, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, there it is. I think it's so cute. Oh, I didn't finish putting those things on the bottom like I said I was going to. Well, let's turn it this way.
<laughs> I gotta finish putting those pearls on the bottom. But look how cute that is. I just love it. I think a little more tissue paper on the inside would look a little bit better. But these were just so simple and easy to make. All three of these things were just super, super easy. Um, I love the little bouquet. And like I said, with leaves, without leaves, that's totally up to you guys. And the color, like I said, you can make it blue, you can make it pink. So it's perfect for um, any baby shower. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I will put another picture up at the end here of these guys and the little gift basket. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day, everyone.